Hey, this is Josh Anderson with Bagpipe Master. Today we're going to learn, this is a good tune, it's called the Highland Cathedral. Make sure before we get started, go to Bagpipe Master and get your free sheet music. You can just pick it up there. And let's just jump right into the sheet music. First two measures, you can see this throw on D is just dropping down to a G, playing a D, C, D. These are just G grace notes, pretty easy. This measure we have an E doubling, which consists of a G grace note on an E, and then an F grace note continuing with the E. Then we have another G grace note, and this guy right here is a strike in between the two Fs. And to strike it, you just drop to the E, and then back to the F. Okay, before we go ahead and play the first two measures, I'd like to point out just a few of these movements. The first one is the throw on D, and just showing from the side, you can see the throw on D, we go start on a low G, to the D, then C, and then D. So it's like this. So that's the throw on D. So we play a throw on D on a D, and then we go up to the E with a G grace note, F, E with a G grace note, and then we go down to the D, G grace note on the A, and then D. So that's the first measure. Let me play that for you. So that's the first measure. Moving on to the second measure, it, we play an E doubling, which consists of a G grace note and an F grace note on the E. But it's a little faster. Then we go up to the F with a G grace note, and up to the F. And then we play that strike in between the two Fs which is just simply strike down to the E, and then back to the F. And that's the first two measures. Let me play through those with the metronome. One, two. The third and fourth measure, we have an F doubling, um, some other doublings, but looking at this, the F doubling, we simply play a G grace note on the F, and then another G grace note on the F. So it's just two G grace notes, that's all the F doubling is. So da 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 da, and that's just where you go from the A, F, G. So it's just a really short F note. Da 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 dee dee, and this guy is a E doubling which is a G grace note on the E, F grace note on the E. Dee dee da, dee dee da dum. So, E doubling on the E, E doubling on the E, G grace note. Pretty easy. Let's play those. Third and fourth measure on the first line. They starts with the F doubling, and the F doubling we just play a G grace note on the F, and then a second G grace note on the F. So it's like this. A little faster. So we play the F doubling on the F, then we go up to the A. Well, we go G then A. Now from the A down to the G, we have a grace note an F grace note. So it goes A, maybe I'll show you from this side, F, and then G. But you do it a little quicker. And then we go down to the F, and then we do an E doubling. Now we already played this E doubling in the second measure, but just once again it's a G grace note and an F grace note on the E. And then going down to the 
fourth measure, we do another E doubling, F, and then a G grace note on the low A. Let me play that third and fourth measure with the metronome. One, two. Here we have the B doubling on the B, so it's a G grace note on the B, and then a D grace note on the B. Ba -da, da -da. Now this guy is basically a strike with just a G grace note in there. So it's G grace note on the D, and then strike to the C, back to the D. Da -da, da -da, da -da, mm -ba -da, da -da, da -da. So here we have an A doubling, which we play an A, strike it with your thumb to create a G, and then back to the A. Da -da. This, you'll notice, is the same as what we did over here, where it's just a very short F grace note. Da -da -da. Now here, normally you would just play a G grace note on this F, but since we're coming from a note that's a higher note, like a G, we have to instead play an A grace note to the F. And to play that, uh, I'll show you on the chanter, but it's just you lift your finger off for the A, close to go to the F. First and second measure on the second line starts out with a B doubling. And just to review on the B doubling, it's a G grace note on the B and a D grace note on the B. So it's like this. But a little faster. That's the B doubling. So we play a B doubling on the B note. And after we finish that, we go to a C, D, and there's a D, and then it's basically a D strike, where you play a G grace note, and then you strike between the Ds by playing um, a C. So let me show you that D strike. A little faster. So let's start from the beginning, just so you can see so far. So that's where we start out. And then continuing on with the measure, we go down to the low A. G grace note on the C, and then up to the D. Then we bump up to the high A doubling. And from this side, I'll just show you. We go up to the A, strike with the thumb to create a high G and it continues with the A, so it's like this. Just one strike. Then we have another example of an F doubling, coming from the A down to uh, G. See how we go from the A, F, G. But when you play it up to speed, it's... Then from the G, Going down to the F, we have an A grace note going on the F. So as we're playing the G, and we want to end up on the F, in between the two we have an A grace note. And to play that A grace note, we simply lift the thumb off and then close your index finger and thumb at the same time. Let's play those two measures. One, two. Here we have an E doubling. Should look very familiar. We did that here and here. We've done it a few times. Uh, but once again, it's a G on an E, F on an E. Dee da 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 dum ba. G grace notes. Once again, an A grace note since we're coming from a higher note down to the F. And then here we have an E doubling down to the D, and here we have that strike where we strike the Ds. And we did that same type of a strike over here. 
but you'll notice it's just a G grace note on a D. Play a C back to the D. D da da da. Has an E doubling. We should already know how to do that from the previous line. G grace note on the F, up to the G, and then from the G down to the F, we have an A grace note again. Then we go down to the, the D, G grace note on the low A, up to the D, and then as we go up to the E, we play an E doubling, which is that G grace note, F grace note. Then we go down to the D, and as we're playing the D, we have a strike in there where we play a G grace note, and we strike it by playing a C. But up to speed, that strike looks like this. Let's play through those two measures. One, two. C doubling on the C. Da da bum bidi da di. So here, G grace note on the C, D grace note on the C. And as we go from the C down to the low A, instead of doing a G grace note to break it up a little bit, they do an E grace note down to the low A. Ba da dum bidi. E doubling on the E. We've done quite a few of those, so we'll continue. Da di. Here, another F doubling on the F. Da 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 bum bum bum. So this guy right here is called a grip. And as you're playing the C, you drop down to the low G, play a D grace note on the low G, and then pop up to the C. Da dum bum ba. And then we go down here to the B to pick up to the next measure. Da da. Da, dun, 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 dun. We start with a C doubling, and the C doubling, we just play a G grace note and a D grace note on the C. A little faster. Now as we're playing the C doubling, we continue with the C, and then we go from the C to the low A, we have an E grace note in there. Then we go from the low A up to the E, and when we hit the E, we play an E doubling, which is a G grace note, an F grace note. We've done this before. And then from the C, we have a G grace note up to the E. And then when we go to the F, we have an F doubling, which is just simply two G grace notes, one, two. Then we go down to the C, play a grip. Now this is the first grip in this song. And remind you a grip, we drop down to the low G, play a D, continue with the G, and then pop up to the C. So I'll play it so you can see it from kind of from the side. But as you play it up to speed, it'll look more like this. down to the B. Let me play those two measures. One, two. Here we have a some basic grace notes, some more doublings, but you'll notice these things are a little bit new. And what these are is there a triplet? And technically, an eighth note is supposed to be, you know, two eighth notes is supposed to equal a quarter note. But when they put this above it, and usually they'll have like a number, like a number three, but um, here what they do is they give each of these equal value, and they say that all three of them should equal a quarter note's value. So really the easiest way to look at this is 
we know that there's four beats in this measure, so that'll get a beat, all of these will get a beat, and then this will get two beats. So to kind of hum through it, it goes bum, ba -na -na -da -da. So pretty easy. It's just you give these equal value and all three of them equal a beat. Bum, ba -da 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 -da. And as far as this goes, that's just a doubling on the a B doubling on the B. Play a C doubling on the C. And then we have another triplet, uh, very similar to this, just slightly higher up the scale. Da -da, da -da -de, da -da. Same thing, this gets a beat, the three of these get one beat, and then this gets two beats. Bum, ba -da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. All right. Let's drop down to the low A with a G grace note there. And then we play that triplet we already talked about. Remember, we give those each equal time. And then we drop down to the B doubling, which is a G and a D grace note. But up to speed. Then we play another doubling, which is a C doubling, a G and a D grace note. And then we play another triplet going up the scale. Then we drop down to the B with another B doubling. So a lot of doublings and triplets, but let's play through those two measures so you can get an idea how it sounds all together. One, two. fourth line and actually looking at these these two measures they're the exact same as these two previous measures one two we have another of those triplets should be familiar Bum, ba -da -da, da -da, dum. And here, uh, we have a B doubling on the, on the B, drop down to the A. And this guy is a burl, and it breaks up these two low A's. And to play a burl, we drop to the low G, play A, drop to the low G, play A. And I'll show you on the chanter, but it's, the easiest way is just slide your little pinky finger back and forth. Ba, bum, bum. Okay, let's play the last two measures. Starts on a low G. And that once again was just a B doubling, which is a G and a D grace note on the B. And then we drop down to the A, play a G grace note on the low A, and then the burl, we simply slide across, which creates a low G, and then it goes to an A, and we slide across, across again, it creates another low G. So it looks like this. A little faster. Let's play those two measures. One, two. Let's go ahead and play through the entire tune. We'll just keep our metronome at 60 beats. And here is Highlight Cathedral. One, two.
right, there it is. That's uh, the entire tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you like this video and be sure to visit BagpipeMaster.com for the next upcoming tutorials. And thank you.